bro. Forty seven. took the fisherman's boat to the old land's estate. Eh, kalau buka ikon? Buka ikon? Thank you. Oh As I walked through the old church ruins, I was surprised to hear Mr. Ah, Sinton calling me. He said he had forgotten to give me something, and the church's community hall would be the perfect place to try it out. Upgrade, as soon upgrade. as we walked into the hall, Mr. Silton said he had a present for me. It was a pair of atlas gloves. They made me think of the old blind man with the cat, and he stole the atlas gloves. I wonder if Mr. Silton knew how lucky he was to still have them with a glove thief around. Mr. Silton asked me to try the gloves on, and start chucking things around. But not him. He was very clear about that. <laughs> Mr. Silton suggested no, have, like, we clean uh, the hall. Strength? Of course I knew when he said we, he meant me. But I was happy to try out my new gloves. Up he with. said I should clear everything off of the basketball court and put the things on the floor either side. I fiddled with the settings for a bit, but when Mr. Silton saw I was having trouble, he produced a small manual. He explained that pressing down and X pressing would down. pick a thing up. X would then throw the thing, and if I wanted to place it on the floor, I should again press down and X. X to throw. He looked more and more confused as he read all this, but eventually he finished by saying, Well, I hope that made more sense to you than it did to me. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. And then throw. What? Ha! 
What? <laughs> Throw this. Throw this. I'm just gonna hang with them. <laughs> Rebound 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 <laughs> Mr. Silton sounded slightly annoyed when he said Come on, take all the stuff off the basketball court and chuck it either side. Da. Aye. Let's see what else these gloves can do, said Mr. Silton as he flicked through the manual. He actually looked quite excited when he explained that holding X while walking into or under a falling ah, thing would allow that. me to catch it. I must admit, that I was then that. really happy when he suggested we make it a game and I try to catch 10 basketballs. How? Rebound. Ah. Rebound. Next, Mr. Siltrant suggested we make it a real game and see how quickly I could score. <laughs> I enjoyed this so much. It felt just like the good old days. <laughs> Except Mr. Siltrant wasn't as forgiving as the old man. This is a bug. Ah, salah, salah tekan. No, iha. Lads called ten baskets. Mr. Silton gave me what he called the high five. He said I now knew everything about the gloves and I should be able to continue through the basement of the church into the house. When I asked him if he was coming with Preston. me, he just laughed and said they would catch up with me in the main hall. Very nice. What? 
What's it happening? Hey. Ole. Ah, dois aqui. I was stood in a gigantic cavern. A year. When I looked down, I was horrified to see hundreds of corpses of those things. Robots. As horrible as it sounds, my stepdaughter Chip said they were things to clean. So clean than I would. No. <laughs> Ya, tak boleh. Don't hit me. Oh, yeah, there. That is okay. Here we go. Go into our That must be the door Mr. Silton talked ah, about. I see. That's his car. was exactly as Mr. Silton had described it. I just hoped that the card he had given me was the security key and not just some backstage hmm. pass. <laughs> well, it opened the door. But soon an alarm went off. What? Something caught my eye. It's a small yellow sphere. The book next to it explained that it was a shield that would automatically take a hit for me when activated. The Y button took the shield in and out of storage, meaning I could save it for when the going got tough. Mm. It seemed that I started with two slots to carry shields, what? but I could upgrade to be able to carry what? more. If both I and the shield really died convenient. in the same room, the Lazarus chip would bring us both back. It's almost as if the shield needed its sacrifice to mean something. It felt like a true friend, <laughs> proving that even the simplest of faces can bring out an emotional reaction. I don't know, Shia. Oh, dang. Oh, I 
getting that issue. Oh! Interesting. Ah, do it. Where's this? Oh, yeah, baby. What is that? I'm I'm safe. Is it? Delapa lagi lah. Eh, I came back. I came back to the entrance. Ah, I don't know where to go. I don't know where to go, baby girl. Ah, do it. Okay, yeah. Ah, do it. Dia boleh hilang pintu Bising ya Something literally caught my eye I remember the old man had installed some software that helped show me things that were interactive And how to interact with them Kacang Kacang biru This must be what he was talking about What is this? Electron gun blew the power. 
I needed to turn it back on before I could fire again. Leave it. Interesting. What? The boss. I'm dead. What? Why? This seemed quite valuable. Hello. The video record is blinking light caught my eye. It must have been years since I had seen a film or TV show. Maybe I could take a little break from my quest and watch the film on the tape. As the video started, I was surprised to see the old man. The old man! Hello, hello, he bellowed in his familiar tone. This is test number, um, 107C. He continued as he read from a clipboard. This unit still has three major issues. One, the shell is so incredibly thick that the whole machine is still far too large and heavy. Two, the missile system is too unpredictable and aggressive. And 3. The trade-off between power and intelligence is far too great. I think the military capabilities would be far too dangerous in the wrong hands. I think we would be best to push forward with the Innocence Project. I didn't really understand a word of what he said. And I was slightly disappointed that he had recorded over the film, but it was nice to see the old man's face again. I wasn't sure what was going on, but suddenly, inanimate objects started to come to life. What? Why? Why? Ah! Well, I could do... Can I hit it? Hey! Bad time. Ah, oh, dang. Hi. Hey. 
God damn it. Ay, 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 ay. All the chain.
I should try picking that up. Hi, I understand now. What? Where am I going? Ah, I'm going to go. I hit it again. I hit it. I hit it. It's not clear where it is. It's too bad.
lagu ni You don't have it bro Batteries come in all shapes and sizes Hey, yo, 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 yo. Like I need to find, I need to use my shield because she's everywhere. Do we have it? Okay. Ay, 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 ay. Ah, se va a Done. Seeing another VCR made me wonder if there were any more recordings of the old man. I rummaged behind the TV and was not surprised to find two more dusty old tapes. One just had hours of some strange sport. <laughs> but the other had a recording of the old man. Hello, hello, came his voice again, right, this is urgent, cancel the nanobot program immediately, all the production to be stopped, contain the remaining units in these corrosion proof canisters. Corrosion proof. Although I'm sure it's obvious, the old man continued, we have discovered that they are essentially unstoppable and can form a controlling intelligence around any object. Nanobot, okay. Need I say more? Well, at least that explained why everything moved with minds of their own. I'd never been in this part of the house before, but I figured I would get back to more familiar surroundings once I made it through these laboratories. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. How about ah? How about that, baby? Oh, 
tak perasan Tak perasan Hello, this is Boss fight again. Sneak. <laughs> Ha 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 Habis lagi Baby. 
<laughs> Heroic landing. Anyway, what was that? Is that a boss? Uh, we did not a base game. Ah, yeah. I hate it game. I hate it so much. I hate it very, very much. I don't know. I don't know anymore. I needed to get back on the moving lift. Right. Ah! Good. Ah, oh, do the air, babe. I just want to get out of here! I want to end this. I want to end this suffering. No more. I want to delete this game. Ah! Thanks. I needed something like a pro bar. Oh, I can do that. Uh, do it. Okay. Thank you, Apis. I don't know, it doesn't feel the quality of puzzle. Ah. I know machine sounds. Ah! No! Ah! No!
no, I don't know, I don't want, I don't want, to. I don't want anymore, I don't want, I don't want anymore. No! No! I don't want anymore. I don't want anymore. Please release me. Please release me. Please release me. Please. Ah, please, no more. My shoes struggled to permit the slippery wall. Eh? I need to keep to, what, to climb it. Ah, please, ah, 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 I'm dying. Oh, oh, wow, I can climb now. Ay, 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 ay. Gugana bontot. Bontot gugana, bontot gugana. Bontot gugana lagi, bontot gugana lagi. Bonta kukena, bonta kukena lagi. Bonta kukena, aku. Bonta kukena, bonta kukena lagi. Eh, tengah lalu sini. Ah, bantu aku kena, bantu aku kena lagi, bantu aku kena, bantu aku kena. Abi tengah nyanyi lagu ni. I'm here, baby girl. I'm here. Knock, knock. Chuckled Mr. Silton. It's all right. We'll claim it on the insurance as accidental damage. Get me a new TV as well. I explained to them that I had found some of the old man's home videos, and the contents had shocked me. The dirty old bugger. Interrupted Mr. Sidden, but I didn't know what he meant, so I continued explaining about the nanobots, and Mr. Silton said we needed to get our sharpest minds on the case. Not you dipshit, he barked <laughs> at Mr. Preston, we need to rescue Heather and her mum. I wasn't sure what Mr. Chapter Silton five. Meant to I don't want to play this anymore. I thought I would leave them to clear up. The weather felt cold and ominous as we made our way back outside. Before we meet the others, I need you to help me get my stolen van back," explained Mr. Silton. It's going to be dangerous, and we need someone expend uh, dependable. The equipment was heavy, but I was happy to help pack the large boxes until Preston returned with what Mr. Silton called, the mean machine. 
Watt. Chapter 5 <sighs> I don't want anymore Mr. Preston seemed even more anxious than usual. At first I thought he just needed to use a toilet. But Mr. Silton explained that their old gang members lived around here. Somehow the money went missing when we robbed that post office, he continued. For some reason they thought we'd taken it, but, as he put it, why would we live in such a dumb if we had a load of money? Although this clarified things for me, it certainly didn't calm Mr. Preston, who suggested we gotta move on. Don't worry, we'll be a matter of minutes, we just need to send Mr. Chips up there to have a look, said Mr. Silton as he pointed to a window high up the building. Go on, he said with a smile, off you go then. <laughs> bye bye, Janet. I'm... I don't want to play anymore.